Eric, do you know you're seven years old? I don't have favourites. I love you. But Eric's a favourite. Eric, you never... We are Hinda and Bronte, and this is Eric's story for GOBs. What are you doing? We started Two Song Sanctuary in Fort Lincoln in South Australia. <laughs> Where um, you know, in this area there was no one who was really rescuing, um, uh, you know, orphan kangaroos or wombats. Stop saying um. Oh, okay. I was just saying. <laughs> Barry, he is amazing. Oh, look at him! He's just one big suki lala. You probably shouldn't be on a bottle anymore. He's definitely uh, very affectionate, to Linda. I know you love me. He'll actually come up to me and ask for a hug. <laughs> Like having a child all over again. Hey, baby. What are you doing? That's my hair. He loves to eat my hair. He eats my clothes. Oh. He was actually found by two mine workers about 300 kilometres north of us when he was uh, a tiny baby and then passed on to us. Eric. He's gone massive. Male kangaroos keep on growing for their entire life. Eric, you're a beautiful man. He's quite tall when he stretches up. He's seven years old now. He buddied up with Jack, one of our other bigger kangaroos, for a while there. They used to have the little play fights in the morning, but they don't do so much of that. Jack seems to take more interest in the girl kangaroos now. So Jack? Where Eric's just everyone's friend. He's been in a bit of trouble. He managed to break his leg. We had to put his leg in a cast and we had to continuously go to the vet. Eric could have been euthanised if he'd listened to the vet and not had Bronte intervene. I tend to tease him a bit by just saying, you're welcome, buddy, every time I see him. <laughs> when he was recovering, he spent a lot of that time inside with us. Come on, everybody! We try and keep all of our animals as close to nature as possible. So as soon as he got better, we actually brought him back to his mob where he interacts with kangaroos, which is you know, what kangaroos should do. <laughs> Who wants their bottle? They have the room to have their own personal space. Oh, no, that's great. <laughs> but some of them, out of the 27 kangaroos we have chosen, to stay quite close to their humans. I'll just help myself. I'll go to the gate and call Eric. Eric! Come on, Eric! And he will jump up and run to us. Eric, come on! Come on, Eric! Come on! Oh, good boy! I love you. I don't get too many hugs while Linda's in the paddock. Hey. hey. Over there on my own, he'll come up to me. How are you doing those big hands of yours, buddy? He's got these massive hands. He'll give me a bit of a slap for those if you're not uh, looking quick enough. Oh. There we go. You gotta let go, man. You gotta let go. Called to help a couple of times. Just had to have Linda come and unwind him a bit so we can uh, get out of his embrace. I can stand in between two male kangaroos fighting and go, Oi, cut that out. Stop it. Stop it. Now, what do you think you're doing? If you want to be a good mother, you need to show who's the boss. That's enough. Excuse me. Come on. Come on. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I can't tell you how humble it is to have a wild animal want to be a part of your life. All of our kangaroos and wombats will say South Australia can't be released to the wild. Ready? We're committed for the next 30 years. 30 years, I guess. <laughs> I go to work and Bronte, my, my very clever husband, is actually building us our own home. He's the rock star, mate. Then we've got 40 animals. Kangaroos are very, very lazy animals. We go to work. We're running around after them, cleaning their shelters, filling their water. We work, work, work. We haven't had a holiday for seven years. While they just laze around in the sun, laying on their backs, sleeping. They have got the best life. They are seriously living my dream. Too funny. Oh, Eric is pretty much the sunshine of my life. The bond we have together is so close, so warm and so just beautiful that I don't care about a few scratches. It gives me the same joy that my two grandchildren give me.